Hi guys, it's Mooney and welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be a little quick little review video featuring a curly human hair highlighted wig that I purchased. I'm pretty sure the wig is like a 13 by four, I'm pretty sure. I like to mention that when the wig is fully installed, the middle part is crooked as hell. Like I didn't realize how crooked it was until I'm watching the video and editing. So yeah guys, it's crooked. And to me, I thought I ate. But the wig still looks good, though. Maybe a 13 by 6 I'm not sure. Everything will be linked down below so I could go purchase, too. But I'm very excited to make this video. It's been a, you know, it's been a while, so I did, like, some hair content, stuff like that. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment because I do read comments and stuff. So you guys want to, like, leave a little message or, like, anything you guys want me to, like, you know, put out some more. Just let me know down in the comment section, okay? Enough talking. I'm just getting straight into it. The brand I'm working with today, well, not working with because this isn't even sponsored, but the brand that I'm going to be featuring today on my channel is Smavita on Amazon. And this is the wig that I purchased from them. I'm just going to take the hairnet off and it is very gorgeous. I am so excited for how this is going to look on me. I haven't worn a curly human hair wig in a very long time. So I'm looking at it right now. We have the two combs in the front and then the one comb in the back. And we also have lace in the back too. So I'm pretty sure if you want to put this hair in a ponytail, you probably can. But I'm not going to be using the lace in the back i'm really just gonna you know keep everything forward like it needs to be and it's gonna be a middle part and i'm not gonna be doing edges by the way because i'm very bad at creating edges for my wigs and i just want this to be a very cute and simple you know install also i will not be doing the bald cap method i'm just gonna apply it with glue with like spray on glue the ebon new york spray and i will also be you know putting concealer on the lace or whatever so it could blend a little bit easier but i'm not gonna do anything too you know anything out of my skill anything out of my expertise so since it's gonna be a quick little middle part i keep calling everything quick but since it's gonna be a middle part i'm going to grab a comb and like split everything down the middle and i'm gonna comb it out guys i it already looks so sexy like guys uh, how y'all feel about it it's giving lion's mane right i am going to measure the tabs with my ears first make sure that it's like you know up where it needs to be and then i'm just gonna grab that comb that i have by the way if you guys see me looking off screen i'm not sure if i mentioned that already but i do have a mirror that i'm looking into but i want my middle part to be middle so i'm gonna try to concentrate while doing this that was a terrible job that was so bad okay never mind i'm just gonna do it with my fingers because i really don't have the patience or even time got a little something so this lace goes by pretty far back, so maybe it is a 13 by 6. I don't remember a 13 by 4 going all the way back there. I need my middle part to middle part. Like, that's one thing I don't want to mess up, so I'm probably going to have to do it off screen because I really want to make sure that this is perfect. I do have um, a lace tint spray, but it has residue on it when you use too much of it, So, and I don't really have the patience for that right now, so I'm just going to glue where i need the hair to be which is the front over here oh, i forgot i have to brush it this bad the best part is i'm not gonna need any sideburns or whatever because i plan on keeping this hair in my face so i'm gonna cut the lace actually okay one thing i saw was that people do it in this like three part type of way I think is very smart because the lace itself can get a little bit intimidating sometimes okay so yeah, let's put a little bit of lace in the front cut this part off <sighs> that was part was like kind of intimidating and scary and then I'm gonna cut this part over here do you guys think I look good <laughs> I think I look good This is what we're working with. Is it too much lace, guys? Or you guys think it's like the right amount? Do I need to cut a little bit more? I don't wanna like make any dumb decisions. Like, okay, trim the front a bit. So now I can glue it the way I need it to be glued. I'm only gonna glue a certain perimeter because I don't need to glue back here because I'm not, we're not gonna need that, if that makes sense. Not gonna lie guys, so far this install started pretty good. I was trying to make a YouTube video the other day and everything was going bad from the get-go. So this is, this is progress. Yeah. 
and I'm gonna leave this on for a bit and then when I remove it I'm gonna put concealer on it add some more glue put this again then take it off add more concealer put more glue do this again and you know what I just want to just come back to y'all when everything is really completed because why do I have to keep showing y'all on and off that I'm doing that but for it to be a melt you have to really keep applying this especially if you're not doing the ball cap method so this is gonna be your best friend if you want to achieve a melt like seriously okay you guys I've returned I put some powder on the hairline as you can see everything is slowly coming together so I'm just gonna add some more glue like I was telling y'all before, the more glue you add, the stronger and better the melt is gonna be. This shit gonna be so melted. It's gonna be so freaking melted. I've decided like, I wanna start doing my own hair um, because paying for installs like every other week is not that cute, especially since I do not keep wigs in. <sighs> Like, I don't know. I have accepted the fact that I will never know how to do edges. And I'm not going to lie. Okay, this thing is spinning at me. It's actually really annoying. I've already accepted that I'll never be do edges or whatever or, like, learn how to do it because I am extremely lazy. And I've accepted that part of myself. So, um, I've decided, like, you know, I'm getting older now. So, like, let's maybe it's time to put the edges down and just rock the no edge look. Is it just me? Or am I just, like, you know, coping? Let me know. Let me know in the comments if y'all think I'm just coping. But I'm gonna have to put the edges down, like, because I could do ever. I feel like I could handle literally anything else except that. Like, I could do anything else except that. For me to know how to do my edges, I would have to have a shit ton of patience. And I don't. I do not. I'm afraid I do not. So, this is gonna be the last time I put this on. I am late. That's all it comes down to. I am late, like your girl is late. And it sucks because I'm never early. It's to the point my friends be telling me to get ready three hours prior before we go out because I just, I just never finish on time. But this is gonna be the last meal. After that, I'm gonna get my hot comb. I got my little wax stick. Boom, boom, fluff it, play with it, tease it. And then we got the look. I might sleep with it in because, you know, taking off this thing is basically taking off my scalp in the process. So I might have to leave it in for like a day or two to let the shower water, you know, loosen it up a bit. Okay guys, so I'm gonna take this down. The reason I say this is because I am already so late. I don't think I even have the luxury to like really sit here and pose. And then that's all we needed. We have our little rubbing alcohol so we could clean around the hairline because the glue does make it a little bit chalky. Let me put the wax stick. I promise y'all it's gonna come together in the end. Every time I say this, I'm right, so y'all better trust me. The middle part is kind of hard to see, so I'm gonna have to put some concealer. So the melt is not perfect, as you can see. As you can see, um, I don't know. I feel like I need to make um, the concealer match a little bit. But anyways, I'm just gonna put some shit in the middle, you know. So you're probably wondering like, girl, like why does it, you know, look like that? Like what's going on, what's going on, what's going on? Y'all need to give me an actual minute, okay. It looks way better. I didn't want to put mousse in it because it was gonna like, you know. Oh, some just freaking flew. Y'all like it? Now, like I told y'all before, I gotta finish it up with the concealer. This is how long the hair is, by the way. It stops at the beginning of my butt. I'm proud to say that this is the final look, you guys. I can zoom in. As you can see, the lace is a little, you know, it's sheer, basically. But I promise you, all I have to do is put some powder on it. And then that's gonna be the end of that. Ooh. 
not the girls texting me y'all anyways i'm gonna have to wrap everything up right here right now if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you have any more questions regarding this hair comment everything down below and i'll make sure to read it and get back to you as soon as possible and make sure to follow my socials and stuff like that i will do usually follow back and i hope i see you guys next time and tune in with Mooney. bye guys